Does irrigation got you all tangled up? Oh, okay. Okay, we're not doing that. That's corny. What's going, y'all? We are back inside the Boom Boom Room. Uh, we're only a couple days away from flowers, so we need to get the drain trays and the irrigation set up for the flower room. So I figured I'd bring y'all along for that. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about my res setup. Like I said, the drain tables and also how to set up your drip lines. So for those of you that don't know me, I go by Here He Grows. I am your friendly local neighborhood home grower. I've been growing for about five years and I use this channel as a way to share some of the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. So if that kind of content interests you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and uh, let's set up these drip lines, y'all. All right, y'all. So let's start with the rest setup. Now, with this rest setup, I pretty much mix fresh nutrients every day or every other day, but this setup is extremely easy to do and easy to use. So, we start with a nice big 40 gallon brute trash can. Inside of the brute trash can, we have a 1 6th horsepower little giant pump with just a little threaded with a threaded uh, swivel attachment, 3 quarter inch PVC pipe coming up to our mixing valve. This sits in and allows us to recirculate. The nutrients we have a valve here so we can shut that off when we're ready to feed and turn it on whenever we're mixing our nutrients from there we have a a it goes up we have it elbowed over with a union and that union is how we attach this system here i wanted it detachable so it's easier to clean the res easier to take it apart in case anything goes wrong unions are your best friend in a setup like this so don't skip on the unions now this union here we tie it right in and so once we're done mixing, like I said, we shut the valve off here. Water flows one of two ways. We have a valve here, so you can connect a hose to the hose bib and hand water. Let's say if you're using microbes or something like that that you don't want to put through your drip lines, you can attach a hose bib and hand water through a hose um, with this valve here. Or we can go through this valve here, we open this valve, and the water flows down through here. Um, and I'll get you all a shot, but there is a water filter here. And from the water filter, it just goes off and into the room. And so that's pretty much the outside of the setup. Um, let's get a closer look at that filter. So when we feed into the room from that valve here at the top, we come down, we have a union there, and unions on both sides of our filter. Again, unions are your best friend in case you need to swap that filter out, um, need to correct something, filters are your best friend. So from the filter, we have it just going up and then connected to our Netafim tubing here and going off into the room. All right, so next up we have these drain trays from the bucket company. Now these trays come with four legs that tuck conveniently under the tray. You pop them out, stick them right here, and you have a little platform for your plants. The platform has drain channels that lead directly to this drain hole. From there you have an elbow that comes down to a T where you can connect three quarter inch drain hose and all that water is gravity fed into a collection bucket with a pump and from there you can have it pumped out of your room. Um, I was a little skeptical at first, but after using these for a couple of runs, they work great. They're extremely easy to set up. Um, not much is required. Like I said, pop the legs on, put your plant up there, connect three quarter inch drain hose, and you're pretty much ready to go. So let's get the plant set up on here and then uh, I'll show you all the drainage bucket. All right, y'all, so as you can see behind me, we have all the plants up on the stands now. We have our drain lines mocked up. And so the drain lines come to a little T like this and they have little barb fittings. And all you got to do is take your three quarter inch rubber hose and securely put it into that barb fitting. And then you're ready to connect it to the drain pump and uh, the drain bucket and drain pump. And so I'm going to get all these lines hooked up in officially and then uh, we'll get to work on the pump and I'll show you all that. All right. So we have all of our trays connected with the tubing. And next up is to connect them all to this collection bucket. Uh, this bucket has three different points of entry where you can connect hoses to drain into. From there, you have a automatic pump in here to once the bucket fills halfway up, it'll pump water out, also equipped with a backflow valve. This whole kit comes from the bucket company um, and is part of the tray setup. Makes everything extremely easy. Like I said, extremely easy to set up. From there, you just plug it in and you're good to go. You can run a drain hose from the pump here and you can pump all of your runoff water out of your room. So uh, we're gonna get this bucket hooked up and then uh, we can start on the irrigation. So let's get it set up. All right, so we have all of our drain lines set up. We have them all connected to our runoff bucket and pump. Next is setting up our drippers. Now I use Netafim drippers. 
The tubing, I believe, is 17 millimeter tubing um, and comes in a big roll. And then all of the, the nice thing about Netafim, all of the connections are little compression fittings. They have a little ring and a cap. You slide that onto the nozzle and you just tighten it down. And it gives a nice watertight seal all the way around. So no matter which way you need to route it or what you need to connect it to, all of them are nice compression fittings. So you just cut your holes to size, route it around the room. And then from there, once you have it routed uh, at each plant, you take uh, this nice little hole punch. I got this one from Home Depot. Extremely simple. You just punch a little hole into the tubing. From there, your Netafim dripper has a little point. You poke that right into the hole. You'll feel it snap into place. And then you stick the stake into the plant and you're ready to go. Now, these drippers come in all different sizes. You can size them according to the amount of flow that you need. This round, we are running two gallon per hour drippers. We're gonna run four per plant, giving us eight gallons per hour. You divide that by 60, it'll give you a gallons per minute, and you can kind of adjust your feeds and, and, and find your range that way. That's the easiest way to go about it. So we're gonna go get our drip lines installed, and then I'll show y'all what it looks like. See y'all in a minute. All right, so we are almost done. Our drip lines are now in and set up. Uh, there's just a couple little last things to do. So you're gonna need to cap off your Netafim line with something. You can either cap it off. I like to use a flush valve. At the time that I initially set up my Netafim drippers for the first time, I was new. I didn't know you needed some kind of cap or a flush valve at the end, and I was in a pinch. In order to, none of the local hydro stores had a Netafim flush valve, and to order one, it was gonna take a couple days, and I had already installed my lines. So I went to Home Depot and was able to set up this little rig that I put together. This is a Netafim connection with a threaded end. Take the threaded connection of the Home Depot's version of the drip line. Theirs is half inch, so it doesn't quite work with the Netafim drip lines, but if you use the adapter here, the tubing, <clears throat> these two are compression fittings as well, and then you can use the Home Depot, drip, uh, the Home Depot flush valve. This whole setup, I believe, cost me around $7. So if you're in a pinch and you need a little flush valve setup, you can try this one out here. After that, we're just gonna take our drip lines, we're gonna put them into the cup here, we're gonna make sure our flow rate is correct. From there, we're just gonna stick the stakes into the plant, and I guess the last thing to do is show y'all how everything works, so. All right, now we have this system in full use. So, like I said before, we have the mixing valve there going. And all we got to do now is turn that valve off, turn this valve on. Our water goes down through here, through the filter, Netafim hose there. So then we have the lines coming into the room, connecting to our drippers, feeding all our plants. From there, the water gets drained, gravity fed into this bucket here and then pumped out the room to this bucket here. And I just dumped this manually. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, everything in here is super simple to set up, super easy to use. It is a very basic setup, but it does free up that time from hand watering, allowing you to automate your feeds, freeing up more time to spend with the ladies. So. I hope this video helped. I hope you learned something. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comments below. I'm always checking those out to see what else I can help y'all with and maybe learn something from y'all as well. So until the next video, keep growing y'all. Much love.